Hey guys, Daniel Gorley here from Five Words Media and we are here for another Tech Talk. And guys, I am super ecstatic because we are here with one of Alan and Heath's snake boxes. This is the GX4816. So let's talk a little bit about snake boxes. They are the unsung heroes. They sit in the back in an equipment rack. They're covered with a bunch of cable. Nobody thinks about them until they gotta go in, they gotta unpatch and they gotta plug into them. But let me just tell you, this guy is amazing. This is basically a 48 input by 16 output snake box. And that would be an insane enough because if you know like this will actually connect with multiple different console types like we can connect this with the Allen & Heath SQ, we can connect this with the Allen & Heath Avantis and this also even works as an expander box for their flagship console the DLive. So what makes this amazing is this 48 by 16 channel infrastructure on an SQ, that is a 48 by 24 console. So this one box has all the maximum input count that you can have inside an SQ, as well as 16 of those outputs. And as you guys know, because we chatted about it before, an SQ 5, 6, or 7 has a lot of local I.O. on it. So one of the cool things that Alan and Heath has done is they've created an infrastructure uh, technology called I.O. Anywhere. And what's great about that is we can have so many different uh, uh, snake boxes or drop boxes connected and we can see a certain amount of those based on our console's processing engine but we can have more IO connected than we actually need so for churches that actually have like some couple of different band setups or maybe you have like you know one weekend you've got an orchestra another weekend you've got a choir another weekend you've got a rock band you actually can have multiples of these snake boxes connected to your console and based on your scene file, it can patch and it can connect and it can grab all of those different consoles. So, so on the front of this console, if we look at it, we've got 48 inputs. They're all nice locking XLRs from Neutrik. Also on the outputs, we have 16 of these Neutrik outputs. Again, all locking so that you can actually connect it. You know it's not gonna pull loose. And then at the bottom three here, we have three different connections, okay? So right there, you see the DX slash GX connection. And what this is, is this is your hard connect from your console through the digital snake pipeline into this box. So one connection gets you connected to this box from your SQ7 or your Allen & Heath Advantis or even your DLive, say you have a, a mix rack and you come out Giga Ace, you plug it into this box and then you have access to it. And then the other two ports that we have on the front are two DX expander ports, okay? So here's what's crazy about this. You have a 48 by 16 snake box right here, but say you want to have a local sub snake, and you remember when we talked in conjunction with the SQ5 and that DX168 snake box, you could actually plug that into one of these DX ports and have it connect through that S-Link back to your front of house console, which is pretty amazing. And then the last thing, this little guy right here that says DX2 below it, it says ME compatible, okay? And if you were watching a couple of weeks ago, we talked about Allen & Heath's personal mixing system. You literally connect one of those personal mixers up to that DX2 port, and now you are talking personal mixing from the front of house console through that single Cat5 connection into that personal mixer and you're ready to go or you put it with their companion MEU distributor, and now you're talking to multiple ME500s or ME1s through this single CAT connection. So, when Alan and Heath says, I owe everything, they really mean it because there's everything you can need on this box and the ability to connect it and extend it to multiple expanders, multiple boxes, their, their personal ME system. Honestly, it's one of the best systems I've seen from a digital audio company, and it is phenomenal. So if you are interested in the GX4816 or any other I.O. box that Allen & Heath has, or you have questions about how all this kind of connects together, you can reach out to us at sales at fivewordsmedia.com today. We will go through, we'll design a system, we'll walk you through all the ins and outs, literally all of the ins and outs with the Snake Connection system, and we'll help you along the way so you can make the best decisions for your church. So if you can, go ahead and subscribe, like, follow for more Tech Talks, and we're gonna see you next week.